Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Brad with Fine Tuned, and today we're showing you guys how to flash XHP utilizing your CAN TCU software on your vehicle. <laughs> All right, so I got CAN TCU hooked up to the vehicle here. Um, on this particular vehicle, we got the OBD for CAN TCU in the glove box, and we got the USB here connected to um, my laptop also in the glove box. With XHP, you actually have to use the OBD for the CAN TCU transmission. This OBD is separate from it. So right now we are going to turn on the vehicle. And we got good communication. The trans is live, ECU is live, and the shifter is live. And we'll go into options up here. And we will go into external flashing modes, third party flashing. And then it says, Do you want to start third party flashing mode? Yes. So we wait for CAN TCU right here. And then now everything is green. So this just keeps the CAN TCU alive and the transmission alive while we do the flashing. And we have our customer Rob here. So we're going to connect his phone to the DCAN cable and we'll hit OK on it. And then we will connect to the new vehicle and we have an eight speed here. So now this is just on XHP and we're connecting to the vehicle. It will populate the transmission um, I believe, Rob, you already purchased the flash license, right? Yes. Okay, perfect. Congratulations, your 530D sedan is supported. That's great. Good thing we got a 335D, but XHP doesn't know that. We'll download the vehicle files. And this will just go through the typical XHP process as well. So we will redeem our flash combo. And do you know your code? All right, we redeem the flash license, and now it's downloading um, the maps for this, I believe. Cool, we got that taken care of. Now we will go into the flash session here. Um, man, we gotta go through all these disclaimers here. Before we actually flash this vehicle though, since this is CAN TCU, we have to disable the um, flashing pre-checks on it. More settings. Okay. So yeah, it was just in the overall settings of it. So we have to disable pre-flash safety checks on this vehicle. So we'll go back now. We'll go to cars. We'll go to the 530D sedan. And now we will flash this car and we'll do, we'll do stage one on this. We'll do the latest version. Okay. Okay. We are flashing now. So yeah, we'll just wait for that to flash. And, um, what XHP does is it raises the torque limiters on the transmission. So this vehicle is probably pushing around 600 foot-pounds of torque. No, actually a little bit more than that, probably 640, 50, somewhere around there. And um, these transmissions have a torque limiter on it, so it'll actually restrict some of your power coming from your engine um, just to kind of like save the health of the transmission. But uh, these eight speed, seven, these 8HP 70s can handle a lot of torque, so we're not very worried about that. They're really proven on these cars. So we'll just let this flash. And then after that, we'll close off CAN TCU and um, clear all fault codes and be done with this. Okay, so it is clearing the fault codes right now, and it looks like it flashed totally fine. Okay, so that's cool. We'll exit out of this right now, and then we'll go back to CAN TCU here, and um, just to exit out of the third-party flasher mode, you hit this X on the top right corner, and it asks you, are you sure? And you say yes. So this turns off CAN TCU, and it uh, basically closes the app application and brings it back up to the screen here. And um, 
yeah, that's it. Um, what you can do next is you could go to diagnostics and just read the fault codes. And we have five fault codes. We'll go ahead and do a key cycle with the vehicle. We will read fault codes and then we'll clear fault codes. And there's no faults found. Um, on CAN TCU, you're actually supposed to power cycle the CAN TCU. Um, so on this vehicle, we have to wait for the car to fall asleep. But always good practice to do that every time you change something or do a transmission tune on these vehicles. But um, yeah, that's how you do XHP flash with CAN TCU.